Hello there and welcome back to some more thoughts and most for today we're continuing our let's play this is episode 57 in today's episode we're taking a look at part 2 of the Class E World Championship for that we need an E-Class car and today's car is the 1970 Alfa Romeo Montreal What? what? Ooh. Oh hell yeah Whoa, whoa, the, mon the Oh Montreal. yes, that colour, fantastic It's a pretty ugly car but I mean, past up Because right, E-Class is where things go to Ooh. die Because <laughs> like that car at some point? Yes, Goshen likes the Montreal. Also, apparently, we don't have the full affinity for Alfa Romeo yet, so we have to race a bit. We could stick a V8 in it. Interesting. Doesn't it already have one? No, it has... Uh... 2.6 litres. Oh. Inline 6, V6, engine for a... I don't, I don't know. Classy World Championship. You, you know the drill. We've already ran out of the description. Twin Ringies, Motegi Circuit Place Race. Yes. It's a V8. Is it? Whoa. It is. is it a very tiny V8? Yes. Yes. Does it say that? Oh, Jesus Christ. What is that, Sebring? Which is the most sexual sound <laughs> over here? Okay. Why don't you like that one? It's not a good looking car, I'll be honest. Like no, it's not. Good. I like how the Montreal oh. looks. No, the Montreal's fine. The Sebring Coupe that you just posted is not a good looking car. Oh. The Chrysler emblem in the middle was ugly. Given the fact it's a Sebring, I didn't have many expectations, but even still. The Montreal's right. not a particularly great looking car, I'll be honest, but. You know, no, I like it. Out. See you guys later. Later, bud. Okay. Bye. Hold on. LA sucks. There we go. I like how the <laughs> gate. I like how the the um, fucking instrument flips you off. I like how this car has the most Italian version of pop-up headlight. I like how the speedo is in. It it's shortened. <laughs> so instead of doing eighty kilometers, this car does eight. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's Italian, you don't need to, to know the speed you're going at. Just the V8 sounds quite nice, I'll give you that. Like, 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 like it, I mean, it's Italian, you just need to know that you're going at some speed. You don't give a shit to which speed. Funny but thing is, the, uh, the windshield in this game is sells better than the one in Forza 7. Yeah. This car's in Forza 7? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't actually pay that much attention. <laughs> I, f I think I saw fucking one for real once. Like in a, I mean, it was in a car show, but yeah, it looks fucking strange. It looks strange, it sounds amazing. So, 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 so the agent, I didn't hear it because, yeah, car show. It's the only of. It, it's one of the only. Uh, it's one of the only. Yeah, yeah okay, 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 you died. Yeah, you died. You died after Holy. only. I said one of only two Alfa Romeos that I won't say, oh my god, it's ugly. It is quite ugly. Which one is the second one? The GT V6. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's that also kind of quite ugly. I saw, I saw, wait, wh why did someone say the fuck LA did chicken left? Oh, I did, because he lives in LA. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Los oh, yeah, Angeles! I, for I, for I forgot you. You're from New York State, so yeah. I yeah. hate California. Now she is alone in New York uh, City. Uh, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, California is is a burning of fucking way too hot for a human being. California is not on fire at the moment. Oh, yeah, for now. The... Yeah, yeah. It probably is. It's just the media they stopped caring of... about that because something it, it, else has caught fire. It tra uh, California yeah, traded all I mean, of its fire I mean, to Australia. I mean, I mean yeah, Australia is on fire. That's a bit <laughs> more annoying. Yeah, Aust what happened is, like, California said, Hey, Australia, I'll trade you all my fire. And they were like, okay. And they were about to use the Uno Reverso card. But then they found <laughs> out it wasn't in the deck. And, <laughs> you, you mean it actually burned out the, uh, the world deck so they couldn't use it? Yeah. Because, like, half of the fucking countries actually fucking... Doesn't down. the government, like, not care and they've just left it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the thing is, was, like, hey... Fucking uh, climate change is not that that much for you. It's not going that to get that hot and shit like that. 
Hey, everything is getting on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like the worst actually problem from what I know is like, uh, oh god, I just saw the fucking Sebring. <laughs> yeah, isn't it good? Oh god, why, why can't that fucking thing burn or fall down the fucking cliff? The yeah, Scotian Racer good. is now playing American Truck Simulator. Uh, so, so as a, I, I just saw the fucking beef spider. I haven't stopped playing American <laughs> Truck Simulator. <laughs> no one stopped that, playing that, American Truck Simulator. I, I, I mean, I, I was playing your truck, but uh, as as since Those. my fucking uh, since my fucking inside is fucking somewhat buggy sometimes because of mods. Those like, car parts need to get somewhere, fam. Hell yeah. Also, wait, wait a minute. They are selling the fucking P fifty spider for like between thirteen thousand pounds and. 17 point 17 pounds 500 for the electric one yeah yeah but you don't want the fucking electric one yeah you do no you don't you you, you want a fucking shitty uh it won't be a twin cylinder air cooled i assure you uh, yeah yeah you, you want probably just have like a quad bike engine or something you you want a 49 cc for stroke petrol engine or 124 cc for stroke petrol engine you don't give a shit about I mean, oh wait, uh, the fucking the un only the electric actually get the fucking disc brakes. <laughs> oh god! Oh, racing disc brakes. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, the fucking racing disc brakes. It goes to fi 55 mph. That's yeah. terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fucking spider P50. Yes, that's fucking terrifying. Also, what the fuck is the fucking pink one? On the right. They all come in unique colours. Wait, so you can they? feel even more like a tosser driving one. So, so the, sta <laughs> the, the standard, you feel like a fucking gay ass cunt. What? I mean, the, the, stand the standard P50 spider is. is, is I would thought you called Thunder a gay ass cunt or something. No, I was like, what? Thunder is a gay ass cunt. No, 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 no. I mean, he's not, gun he's not a cunt. No. No, no, I mean just. Anyway. Oh my god, it's reading. Scotian, you know we're streaming, so whatever you say is recorded. So don't be mean to Thunder, please. Because <laughs> he, <laughs> he watches these. Yeah, I bet he does. No. Oh god, I hate everybody. I mean, see, he, since he doesn't. Do you know my theme songs kill everybody by Stone Sound? <laughs> I mean, since he doesn't, Emil, you wanna know something, something good about his server? The, that guy you could understand, he's actually out of it now. Which one? Uh, you know, the, the one that actually... There's like two or the, three uh, of them, you have to be more specific. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the, the one who actually got him out because he was a fucking cunt and that Azza can't send him anymore. What, Wolf? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, why are you making a big deal out of it? No, For the record, I didn't actually get kicked, I just left. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you got, you left. I left ages ago. Because I don't deal with petty shit very well. Yeah, I mean, you were right because, I mean... If I have to be honest, some people in there are like... Um, <clears throat> it's just a bunch of yeah. fucking people who can't take any form of criticism. It's yeah. The internet. yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, honestly, the only people I care about are the people that are also in the server. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah, this server basically got everyone good out of that server. Yeah. For the most part. What what server? Funders. Oh, I don't watch. I don't. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of his stuff. No. Yeah, that, in fairness, you don't put I don't a lot like of stuff, openly so. talking bad about people, but. Uh, 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 so, uh, Even so, you know, he did it, man. I, mean, I haven't said a single thing. I mean, I mean, I just said he's a bit of a cunt occasionally, and people in his server are massive cunts for the most part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't <laughs> say anything except they're most awful. Most of the unique okay, people. Yeah. I should point out the unique people in there, not the people that have come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah but we only let people in here that aren't absolute fuckwit. Uh, I mean, like well, some of them were okay in there, but. Mm. I mean, Fender himself is actually cool. I mean, I don't see why you think he's a cunt. I didn't, I didn't say he was a dick! Oh, uh, wait, wait. You see. Oh wait! Me, I said me, he is a bit of a cunt occasionally, but isn't like everyone. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but also except, something uh, else. Well, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, except you because you're you always are a fucking cunt. I'll stop wanking him off. 
<laughs> you know, when I say that, you know, that you're a fucking cunt. If saying no. a cunt is a, I mean, if saying that he's a cunt is wanking him off, he's a fucking big, biggest cunt. No, Country no, no, no. roads take me home as, as, to as, the as, place as, as, I belong. As, 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 as it's me you're talking about. West Virginia. Yeah, you got. Like I'm a, fucking, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking retard. I'm a fucking French. <laughs> take me home. I like the yeah. French. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I say I'm a fucking retard, yet I keep trying to be an engineer. Country yeah. roads. What the fuck is up, uh, is happening? Do you try to fucking over overtake me with? Yes. With singing. <laughs> am, am I saying too much shit? Yes. Could you not tell? I mean, yeah, you uh, mean the I could tell. It's fun. I'm just sitting here listening. Country I, roads I, <laughs> take, me, take home me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home. Uh, Country uh, roads. So when are you playing? On the stream, fucking Fallout 76, I mean. Oh. Fallout 76, I'd rather choke a baby. <laughs> well, you'd rather do that than a lot of things. Well, no, because choking a baby requires effort. I'd rather not go to prison for choking a baby as much as a baby's life is meaningless. <laughs> oh, no, no one's gonna notice. What are they gonna do? I'm sorry, am I the only. <laughs> Actually, no, I shouldn't discuss that. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying, right. Kids have got less to lose than like older people because like you don't lose as much time if like a kid dies, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you haven't put much. Yeah, you only lose, lose like a year or two. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> There's less emotional investment. Yeah, exactly. Less money in it as well. That's the key it, I mean, thing. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it's I mean, like getting rid of an old vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like getting rid of a Henry. <laughs> yeah, you feel bad for like two days. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. Unless they're anti vac they wouldn't have lived that long. I mean, yeah. it's 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 already bad at the beginning. Then then you, then you get over it. <laughs> Country Rose will be ever take forever tainted by the meme that is Fallout 26. Yes, although it did give us a better version of Country Roads that is copyright free. So I guess one good thing came out of Fallout 26. I mean, to be honest, from what I know, Fallout 76, like, it's not that bad. No, it's mm. awful. It's broken. No, I mean, I mean, I, I, from, I mean, it depends really on. Uh, uh, I mean, from what I get, it's like. It I mean, it's not WWE which... 2K20, which literally stopped working in 2020, but. What? Yeah. Nice. What? Did yeah. you not see that glitch? No. It got to the 1st of January 2020, and then for whatever reason, the game kept crashing. Like, every time yeah. you tried to select a mode, it would crash, so you'd have to change your console's internal clock to, like, December. <laughs> you can't even do that on fucking Xbox. I'll play New Vegas instead. Yeah, New Vegas... New Vegas yeah. is the only Fallout I actually bothered completing, so... Yeah, yeah, because it's not big, but it's a, it's not the rest... It's, I mean, it's the only recent fucking Fallout that's made by Bethesda directly. I would've... I would have played through Fallout 3, but like I made five hours of progress and then the game crashed. So I just yeah, gave up on it after that. Yeah, I mean, that's a Bethesda game. Hmm. Like, Fallout New Vegas is not a Bethesda game, that's why it's actually way better. Yeah, I saw before Fallout 76, the nukes, three nukes would crash the server, then the nukes stopped working. They had the dev room it, issue, they had the fucking uh, canvas yeah. bag which didn't work. <laughs> they have that oh, oh, fucking update that was supposed to have NPCs, which was supposed to be out last year, but never actually came out. They have Honestly, Top Howard's existence, yeah. you know, it's not... Yeah. Good. Yeah, Top I mean, Howard's I mean, continued existence, isn't it? Yes. No. <laughs> Todd's I mean, Howard's I mean, ability to breathe hinders I mean, Fallout 76. Todd Howard used to be great, now he's like a fucking meme. It's mm, Todd Howard, Todd Howard was I don't not know great. If he... Yeah, I was gonna say that. I don't know if he was ever really great. They tied fucking like Fallout New Vegas like paychecks to what Metacritic score it would get. So, and <laughs> what? what? If any, if you don't know, yeah. people on Metacritic are fucking retarded. Yeah, he missed out by like two points, so they One never got point. the bonus. One point. Never been a Fallout guy. I stuck to Halo and God. Uh, I bought New Vegas by accident and then completed it like three years later. 
Uh, it, Fallout's too... I, I don't like games where you have to get a wiki up for the mice on my car. So... <laughs> that was a good stream. No, what, yeah. Uh, the first part of it was good, the second part of it was bad. Yeah, I mean, the fire wasn't that great. Because you can sort of... Yeah, no, the, the fire was amazing. It's just after that, you can sort of tell I was just getting irritated with its existence. So let, let like, people told that... me to go to a shop and buy a bunch of shit, so I went to a shop and buy a bunch of it, and I was like, Oh yeah, you won't actually got any way to get it back. Well, you're oh fucked. yeah, so you had to, like, move it, you had to, like, move it piece by piece, and then you couldn't. Yeah. I great. tried to get it to the boat, and then just gave up. I, Boo yeah. said he's gonna play that game with me, so... And then the boat almost launched off without you. Hey, 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 Boo... Hey, I mean, let me guess, the only way you could actually play the game again is with having moose in fucking uh, voice. Well, as long as I know, like, how to get vehicles, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I mean. It will be with fucking boost in voice, so it tells you what to do, when to do it. See, it's the just the fact that you have to go to the shop and, like, buy, like, car parts instead of them just being there, which would make more sense. Uh, but yeah, no, Halo and Card, I'm sort of more with you. I prefer more linear shit. Uh, have you tried automation? I have about 350 hours in automation, so yes, I have. I, I think I can safely confirm at this point I have played automation. It's... So that just means you'll be a virgin forever. Uh, I, 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 yeah. I that. Also, you yeah. say you don't like you don't like linear things, but honestly, fa Bethesda Fallout as are linear as fuck. I'm sorry. What? It's like, uh, Bethesda Fallout the games are fucking linear as fuck. Yeah. I was supposed to buy Fallout 4 ages ago, but it's I can't, I just can't be I mean, honest. I, I mean, I mean, you you don't miss much. I mean, Fallout 4 isn't that bad. It's not as bad as Fallout 7. I like the story of Fallout. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, you know what makes me actually sad? Fallout 76 actually seems to have good shit there and there, but it's so it has fucking many bad shit. That's Todd Howard. <laughs> No, Tada was actually good in itself. Tadawa it has Todd Howard. Yeah. It's complicated. Why do you have to go and make things so complicated, Todd Howard? Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, co consider, yeah. I, I watch consider. I think I watch also Auto Flux. They are good. They, yeah, they also are good. I don't know who either of those two guys are. I mean, I mean, they are basically automation. Beam I know YBR particularly like made his career off it. No, I mean YBR made made his career off BMG, BMG. Same game now. No, I mean, no, actually no, because uh, like uh, consider on the fix actually made a lot of made most of the video on fucking automation. And I wonder when they... Fail Race is gonna hop on that train. No, he's never going. He's already to tried it. Automation. Uh, yeah. yeah, he made a video on it today. Oh, okay. well, I, I don't pay attention to his channel. None of I us do, attention. my friend. None of us yeah, do. It I, mean, I, 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 like, I, 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 I mean, honestly, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like fucking tempted to unsub to him. Because You're sub to him? Oh, yeah. I may, I, I, may oh. have, I may be, but yeah, I'm like... I don't just watch him the eventuality much, but... that he might make a video at one point that injured me. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 mean, I mean, honestly, like, the only thing I fucking watch of him is like, to be honest, I think the last thing was like one of his, uh, fair race thing when he, when people crushes because it's people other than him in the video. I thought he was going to say the last video you watched was Survive the Hunt. No. <laughs> I was going to no, say, I... you're the reason fair race is the way it is. Funny meme. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm, I, I mean, honestly, if I if I ever watch anything of Survive the Hunt, it was because it was the the first thing that played in his channel, and that's all. I never watched it, fucking wanting to watch it, mm. and I fucking switch it as soon as I could. Yeah, I haven't watched Fail Race consistently since like I think like 2013 when he did the Forza Four videos, like the Will It Roll challenges. Yeah, no, the the Forza like some of the Forza like experimentation stuff's pretty interesting. Yeah, like, I mean, as it's I said... It's just he doesn't do a lot of that now, because most of it's dedicated yeah. to, like, GTA 5 content, which I don't care about, and then he yeah, just, like, yeah, other... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, excuse I mean, me, yeah. indie games and I mean, shit, which I don't yeah. really care about. Yeah, uh, yeah I, mean, I mean, like, yeah, as I said, only thing I fucking watch of him is, like, uh, 
the people sending shitty clips to him and shit like that, and that's all. No, I don't watch that. I, I mean, I mean. Those video. I, I've got to be honest. The 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 whole like fails videos like in oh, yeah. gaming thing got really boring really fast. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I say that I watch that, but I don't mean I watch that frequently. I mean, like I watch that from time to time, but that's all. Oh, Ludo on damage control. I'll point no, out I, the damage I, control I, site I, highlight reel is pretty good. I, I'm, I'm not on damage control. Even though half of it is just Inferno. Uh, yeah, highlight reel is good apart from everything that's got Inferno in it. I mean, I mean, I didn't I, say that. I mean, I, I only watch a failure shit when when. It, when I have nothing else to watch, because I'm fucking bored, that's all. Well, like, why don't you just watch a... porn then? Nah, nah actually, I, I only watch porn one <laughs> morning to fuck before waking up. How do you. Wait, you watch it in the morning? Yeah. That's a bit counterintuitive. <laughs> Bro, I, I, I watch. Have a before you work. No, no, I, I watch. I, I have a wank before I go to Good the morning, show. USA! I have a thing! This is gonna be a wonderful one. <laughs> I, 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 the I, tissues I, are set and the baby all's ready. No, I, 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 <laughs> and I'm ready I, to I, whack I, it like a Japanese schoolgirl. I, 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 I actually no, I do not. I do not. Just <laughs> Good the show morning, up. USA. I, I do that before the show so I can actually clean myself up right after it. You do it before <laughs> what? The okay, shower. Before showering. Before the shower. Yeah, I go show. I show up in the morning. Uh. So, so yes, I, I clean myself up quickly. And then I thought you said you kill yourself up quickly. I mean, I I wish that was <laughs> true. I, I, but but that's fucking annoying. I mean, I'm not American. I can just go fucking be a gun and shoot myself. <laughs> also. Minor interlude. We now have full upgrade potential with Alpha Romeo, so I'm going to put upgrades okay. on the car to make it not handle as badly as it does. Wow. Rigid! Like, like you say, it handled badly. Does that feel like... <sighs> Killing. Oh, you son of a whore. Shut up. I told you once, you son of a bitch, I'm the best there's ever been. Johnny rising up the old boat one play that devil hard. Huh? And if you want this shiny fiddle yeah. made of gold, but if you lose the devil, get go. your soul. What the, f what the fuck? There, there was. How much do I have to fucking drive in your truck? To wait! 2558 kilometers? What the fuck is that? What the hell are you doing? kilometers. Five, no, 2556. <laughs> no, Ludo. Killer. What? Everyone. You just real units. No. I felt weird really first good. looking at the Montreal's gauge cluster because it has a speed yeah. multiplied by ten. I thought it went twenty six kilometers an hour. Yeah. Scotian Imperial units are are wrong units. Kilometer is the only red unit. You're a wrong unit. Ooh. No. Important changes coming to YouTube today. Oh no. uh, what? What? No. Live they email here. Forever. It's been sent to yeah. the extras account, so you know it's serious. Um, <laughs> the extras. Oh, they've done <laughs> that already. What? The uh, the FTC shit. Oh yeah. You don't get personalized ads on kids' content now. Okay. Not an issue for me because I've already set every video here to not be for children. So. Really? As if that isn't pretty what fucking self-explanatory. Really. Damn it. I mean, I mean, I mean, there I is. I thought that was a Corsa and got this point, but it turns out it's a Suzuki I mean, SX4, I mean, so it's fine. I mean, I mean, to be honest, your fucking. Either, either the extra or, or this fucking channel is so fucking full of retard. It's obvious it's not for fucking children. I mean, extras yeah. has. Um, like, the most popular video is the fucking Bart meme shit, so. No. Oh no, my favorite my favorite video from the extras is I need a woman to help me beat my meat. Oh god, <laughs> yeah, that video. Disco versus women is the greatest piece of media I've produced, I will give you that. And I Yeah, mean, I love it. And and I mean to be honest, here you're fucking out of that, so yeah. Fucking hell. Oh I, I showed a friend the uh, the the accord uh phone setup. Oh god. 
Oh. Phone set up. Fucking CD changer in the cord. Unfortunately, right. I don't really, oh. like everything else just sort of works in that car, so there isn't really much where uh, you can make a phone uh, video. Uh, 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 I mean, do you want to know the fun thing? I also fucking received the fucking email. You what? don't make content! Yeah, that's the thing, I fucking received the email too, but no. It's yeah, I think it's gone out to people who haven't like specifically said which side of the fence they're on. Yeah, yeah, because So, like, this channel is because I don't think I've bothered uploading anything to the Extras channel recently, or at least not enough to pay attention. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's been, like, fucking two years since I fucking sent anything on fucking my channel. So, t like, this channel, I set it straight away to, like... <sighs> no kids content. Yeah. No kids allowed. I ain't a faggot. I ain't... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, also, 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 I just realized that as much as I like fucking playing your track while watching you and watching your shit, I'm after, I have to go because it's midnight here. Okay, have okay, okay good night. And I, have, and I have fucking school tomorrow. Oh, sad. Night. Yeah, I mean, uh, hey, especially since it's fucking engineering school. Complication. Hello. Hi. Hello. Who's there? Who is it? Au revoir. Who's the fuck? Who's the fuck? Oh, it's Go Man. Go Man? Yeah? Hey, it's like you. You should go, man. Go. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, fuck you, Emil. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, hey, you know I say fuck you, but I like you. Yeah, of course you do. Get out uh, of here. Uh, uh, also, before I go, just know that big. Since the fucking starting of the stream, I should drink fucking four beers. I could tell. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah. go to sleep. We'd note it. Go to uh, sleep. Hey, hey, uh, 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 as I go, f go fucking. Go to me. sleep. Ludo, stop bothering us and go to sleep. Shut up, you, f you fucking scotian. Go drive. <laughs> you fucking scotian. Go drive. Go, go drive your fucking truck. Truck. He is probably driving into Albuquerque right now. Yeah, be, be, yeah, because it's fucking Challenger is in fucking I'm Sorry, in because it's somewhere in Arizona, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's close to Albuquerque. No, wait, no, Albuquerque is in fucking Mexico. Albuquerque! <laughs> I'm I, still sad they never pulled Roadhogs live. Yeah, and anyway, I'm gonna go for real. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah! Right. Good, good I like how it was originally Roadhog, but the fucking label good. put in there. So yeah, I've always wondered why it was called Roadhogs and uh, not Roadhog. Hey, uh, 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 Bed! I have one last thing to say. Good luck no. with fucking ugly alpha. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. It's going to be even worse later when I use a Chrysler. Good night. Oh god. Good night. I'm glad to not be there anymore. There we go. Albuquerque! You can't stop me! Oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Smell my shit for miles! <laughs> fucking hell. Go get me some munchies, bitch. I wish Those I could down four beers here? and not, like, not fall asleep. Huh? I'm glad I can't. A fucking Q would be nice. <laughs> Maybe a fucking Q would be nice. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> uh, also, I listened to the demo one. The only difference is, like, the, you can hear more of Corey's internal, like, laughing. <laughs> How silly oh. the words are. <laughs> Corey Taylor is a fucking genius. They, yeah, they did an interview about that. So it was like, yeah, we had a lot of fun writing. Corey wrote the entire thing, and it's like basically what he envisioned his life as a biker would be. <laughs> 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 Albuquerque and having issues with the bike seat. And his hemorrhoids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seed is really giving me broads. Yeah! <laughs> it's a fucking great song. That entire album is great though. Like, I think there's only like a few bad songs on it, and most of them are like the extra. Well, I say bad songs, like songs that aren't as good as the rest of them. Movie on this model if we're in. I'm so pleased we share Roadhogs together, Scotian. 
it, it has officially improved our lives, I feel. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what's funny? Mm. I didn't know that um that Corey Taylor guy. Mm. He did he is he like the main like forming member dude of Slipknot? No, screw that. No, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, he was um. No, he's not a founding member, but he's like the vocalist. Uh -oh. Okay. Because you know what's funny? I didn't mm. know that Corey Taylor was in Slipknot and Stone Sour, because I listened to quite a bit of Stone Sour when I was younger. <laughs> I never knew that he was in this. He was in yeah. both bands. Stone I was like, Right, oh, okay. But... Explanation time. Yeah. Slipknot was actually formed in like 1992 or something. Oh. Yeah, they had like a different vocalist. They released a demo album in like 96 with a different vocalist whose name I forget, but he's a lot more growlier. I actually kind of like the stuff they did. It's actually one of the, it's actually the intro and outro song now, one of the original demo bits from that album. Anyways, oh, okay. um, yeah, and then like Stone Sour was like a thing around the same time and then they broke up in 97. Corey Taylor went to Slipknot, they did the first two Slipknot albums and then Corey Taylor was like, I have an actually good voice, maybe I should vocalise this a bit. And so they started writing Stone Sour songs, and then the album, uh, then the band came back together, even though it wasn't going to be called Stone Sour. Oh. It was going to be called Super Ego, and then they used <laughs> the old name again, for some reason. Also, it's named after a cocktail. Fun fact. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like Stone Sour. Hello, Ludo. Go to fucking bed. Fuck off, <laughs> Ludo. YouTube's about to steal your money. Are you going to do one of the Class F things with the Smart 4 2 or Aston Martin Signa? I'm going to use both of those cars, do not worry. Do not worry, my friend. Small, silly city cars will all be used. Exclusively. But yeah, no. Yeah, I'm just trying to... There's only like one original member left in the Slipknot, so don't worry about that too much. Even though, like... It's, it's weird. They had, like seven or eight membership changes before the first album happened and then like they were the same for like ten years after the first album and then it went to pop because Paul Gray died so mm. and then they had to get like a new drummer and a new bassist and then they weren't proper members but now they're proper members it's weird and ironically enough the drummer's out of like some emo bands like, again, I think it, one of them was, like, Against Me or something, which I am aware of. I've never heard any of their music, but I've heard the name. And he was in, like, something else as well. Apparently his dad's, like, a famous drummer as well. Weinberg or something, I think his name is. Ron Strowman. No. <laughs> Although Ron <laughs> Strowman's Slipknot Strowman does sound good. I have none of those cards. Reverse card. That's not quite how that works, I'm afraid. Unless it's like everything. Huh? Dude, I go the fuck to sleep. I think Braun like listens to like everything anyway, so. Go learn. Yeah, Braun. I know Braun likes Tool. Beyond that, I'm not too sure. Oh, cool. Because I see his like he he posts like on Instagram on his story he, like posts like Spotify songs and shit. No, oh, does he really? Yeah. I know well, Triple H is like Spotify. firm into like fucking like Metallica and Motorhead and something like so. Well, he's really into playing the game, so. I still find it weird how like out of all of the fucking like main roster shows, NXT, despite being like the developmental one, has like the only band anyone's actually ever heard of. Because they have the Slipknot song and, like, the other ones have... I can't remember. There was Papa Roach before, who, like, no one's cared about since, like, 2004. I mean, Raw had enemies by fucking, uh... Yeah, but Shinedown, I didn't know who they were Shinedown. at first. Uh, they're supposed to be quite good, though, aren't they, or something? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're quite good band. Yeah, I've heard some stuff by Shinedown. Yeah, and then they replaced it with that Papa Roach song, and now they've got, like... I can't remember what the name of the band is. It's some like. Uh, I've heard. Yeah, I first heard a shine down when. Uh, local ah! videos. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what happened? Fucking silent. Jesus Christ! 
the Scion TC is out for death. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I'm just seeing that now. Oh, I'm way behind on the stream. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, it's T1 stream. at the Nurburgring GP Yeah. It just tried to kill a Fiesta as well, which is fine because Ford Fiesta cars are now illegal in Nuka. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> The, 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 again, that thing I posted in Bin yesterday, oh, I'll have to watch yeah. it afterwards. Yep, that's right. I'm gonna stick it, I, I, I'll, I'll like screen share it on Discord. Through like Chrome, so you can see it. It's like, it's probably my favourite YouTube poop I've seen because it reminds me of the car is heavy one. Like, it's <laughs> oh, just, yeah. it, it doesn't need to be like over the top. It's just like, pretty straightforward. Because I hate those YouTube poops that have got like way too much editing in them and have like reverse audio and shit like that. This one's just uh, straight up like audio swaps, which is funnier. But yeah, no. I think it was Papa Roach. Papa it wasn't actually Roach. that bad a song, and now they've changed it to something else, and then I can't even remember what the song SmackDown has. Hello? I like how you say that. Okay, screen just went off for a second for some reason so I got a bit worried. <laughs> oh. I think one of the no, HDMI cables got like slightly unplugged or something earlier. I have passed a PZ Cruiser. Eve. Yay. Mm. Killing. Everyone. Killing. Maybe I should buy a Lone Star. Lone Star. It's a good truck. Also you've gone up slightly in my estimations. Well done. Sean. Why? Because he listened to Stone Sour as a kid, which is good okay. shit. Yeah. Because well, I'm finding out now, I only knew like one of their albums as a kid, but shit up. And it's the album everyone knows, so... Oops. Which album is it? Uh, Come Whatever May, because everyone knew that, just because they had like Through Glass, which was like... the song that everyone knows them for, pretty much. Uh. They're known for like all of two songs, and it's either Through Glass or Silly World, which are both off the same album, so... Although, if you take uh, Spotify's metrics, apparently Absolute Zero was, like, a mainstream one, but I never heard that until recently, so... What a banger. Absolute Zero is a fucking banger. It's just a shame the rest of that album's a bit weak. <laughs> yeah. Like, the first two songs are really good, and then the rest... Do you know what I love about those two albums, actually? And I know I'm just being ignorant because it's like supposed to be like a storyline album and uh, the story. Legitimately, the, like the only songs I really, really like off that were like the first two songs of part one and the last two songs of part two. <laughs> and everything else is like, eh. Like, I get what they were going for. I just don't like that sort of album. It's like I don't like Rush 2112, which is apparently sacrilege. But I don't. But that's namely because Rush 2112 has a stupid ass story. Let's listen to the Unforgiven 4. <laughs> <laughs> the Unforgiven 3 isn't real, shut up. <laughs> it ruined everything. <laughs> Unforgiven had a pretty straightforward thing. You have the horn at the start and then you just make the same song again but you switch the instruments around. But Unforgiven 3 was like, no, I'm gonna have a fucking piano. <laughs> The song wasn't even called Unforgiven Free at first. It had a, like a different name entirely. It was called like Black Ship or something, if I remember rightly. Because it's more about pirates and shit. <laughs> That's quite a good album, though. Not one of my favorite Metallica. Will the boy ever be forgiven, though? <laughs> Are you unforgiven too? Yeah, no, it's not one of my favourite Metallica albums, but it's still a damn good album, because it's a Metallica album. Even the bad stuff's good stuff. Mm. Yes, I include St. Anger, because St. Anger's great. Give me more of that drum kid. sound. No, f okay, Invisible Kid is actually a terrible <laughs> song, but ignoring that. That, song, that album had like two major missteps for me, it was like Invisible Kid and also the fact that Some Kind of Monster was much better as the single version because it goes from being eight minutes to being four minutes. Because like Some Kind of Monster just doesn't start. It has like three minutes of instrumental, it's like please start singing the song James. Start singing the fucking song James. 
Isn't that like Metallica's big thing? They have like fucking three minutes of intro and then. Yeah, but geez. sometimes it works, but when it's saying anger, it doesn't work. Because usually there's like some fancy guitar work or something there. It's like even my least favorite album, I'm Justice for All. Like that, like for the most part, didn't have anything going way too long. It's like All it's Nightmare kind of Long. Like, oh. All Nightmare Long's great, even with the starting intro thing, because it sets the stage. With some kind of monster, yeah. it's just like literally just like it feels like it's missing. You know, it feels like it's done me and like started recording a video, but like hasn't actually turned the microphone on for like the first three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That would never happen. Not Euro at Truck all. Simulator 2 ASMR. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, Saint Anger's great. I won't take anything against that. I really like Saint Anger because it has the same appeal to me as like the first few Slipknot albums do. It sounds like a man generally losing his mind. And it's great. <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> yeah, Iowa is literally just like a man losing his mind. And like Saint Anger, they have like the fucking like random laugh at like Dirty Window, which just sounds manic as fuck, and it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and then like that bit at the end of uh, Saint Anger where he just starts screaming, "Kill, kill, 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 kill!" You know, it's great. But yeah, no, I, I like Saint Anger. Oh, Shoot Me Again could also probably be a lot smaller than it is as well. But, you know. I'm trying to think in order for White Metallica albums. I know I wasn't that much a fan of uh, Hardwired. But that's namely because, like, Hardwired just. I don't know. I, I get what they were going for, it just didn't work. Although it does have some bangers on it, admittedly. You know, Moth Into the Flame's cool. Hardwired is cool, even though it should have been longer. Do you remember what the other good song after that was? Oh Jesus, you almost said that barrier. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. You, you'll you find this out with my driving style. I like to play a game of chicken with myself after a while. <laughs> because I get a thrill from getting really close to things. So I'll play chicken with how close I can get to stuff. You'd see in like Top Gear Laps, I try and like skim fucking tire barriers and shit. Yeah. Like, occasionally I hit the fucking... That, that tire barrier... The tire barrier um, God, what's it called? What's the slow speed corner on Top Gear called? I don't know any That of goes on to the follow-through. Chica no, that's not Chicago. I don't know. I don't know any of the names, really. Hammerhead? No, because isn't the Hammerhead the... No, yeah, it might be Hammerhead. Yeah, I always try and cut the fucking tire barrier at Hammerhead I'll hit it half the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's Hammerhead then. That reminds me, I've got to keep driving cars for the next episode of that soon. Which is just going to be a special on the most popular sports car in the modern era. Whoa. The Vauxhall Astra? Yes. <laughs> Clearly the fucking Vauxhall Astra. I've driven like two of those things, I don't want to drive any more things. <laughs> the 2012's not actually that bad a handling car, in fairness. Yeah, I heard the differential is, like, actually functional. Yeah, it's still not, for, for my money, it's still not as good as the Rivals, but it's not bad. It's quicker than the Megane and shit like that. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not as quick as the Civic Type R, but, you know. Uh, well, yeah. Did, did you see what the modern Civic Type R did to my leaderboard anyway? Not quite, no. It, it It's it's retardo fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like quicker than a V10 M5 fast, so... Ooh, alright. Yeah, that, that, that car is the most insane front-wheel drive car in the world, and I love it. Yeah, it is really fast. I love it. Hey, we level up again. Wow. Ultimate Hypercar, level 47. I think, yeah, according, oh wait, no, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, according to my diagram, it doesn't matter which one I pick, but no, it does. There's one pretty obvious choice. <laughs> so, we get a choice of the 
Ultimate Hypercars, 2011 Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, the 2008 Koenigsegg CC GT8, the 2010 Bugatti Zonda Ur, the 2011 Radical SR8 RX, which if you choose you are an idiot, and the 2008 Mazda Fury. We're going to go for the CC GT because it has a one mate race series. Ooh. Oh yeah. It feels so it feels so hard to you not pick the Fury, but I understand why. The Fury is also very cheap. Yes. Okay, Anyways, well, let me just work out. Two, no. three, four. Club Circuit, Road Atlanta. Sub Invisible, Eka. Okay. Hey, Eka. Okay. Thank you, Hi Dear, for subscribing on YouTube. Woo. Oh, I'm supposed to go 75 now. <laughs> the Furai is quite lit, though. Ooh. Yeah. It lit itself on fire at the uh, top gear. That's the joke. <laughs> uh. That was sad. I mean, it yeah. is a concept car with an engine, so I can see why it caught on fire. <laughs> it's almost like roadsters are unreliable. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Love, Love Island. Island star. Oh, fuck you. Die. What What's Love Island? It's something AK is going to go on when he becomes a Z list celebrity at some point. <laughs> okay. Oh, is it like a reality show? Yes. Imagine a bunch of fucking dickheads get put into yeah. a villa and they're all expected to have casual sex and they're all like, oh no, but John doesn't really love me because I love Dave. And it's like, no, but Dave's with Melissa. Well, I'm going to work Melissa against Dave, and then Dave's going to fuck me and not Melissa. But you're forgetting I'm Dave also has a chick on the side called Kanishiwa, and Kanishiwa is going to go <laughs> fuck fucking Nigel. And Nigel wants Nigel. to go fuck Naomi. You know, it's just that sort of shit. And then oh, they have to, like, shit. couple up and play tact. It's just the shittest TV show in the world. Yeah, it says the winning couple will leave the island with fifty thousand pounds. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And it's on ITV two. Which I kind of know. Fuck boy. ITV two, the place where every show on that program is the worst thing it could be. At least ITV three has Family Guy. Mm. And ITV four has BTCC. <laughs> what? ITV4 is supposed to be like a sports type program, uh, sports type, um, yeah. TV thing. Yeah, I get it. I've seen ITV sponsors on F1 cars. That's the only reason I know about it. Yeah, no, radio, it's like how BBC4 is, like, dedicated to documentaries. Oh, okay. And BBC3 is, well, it used to be dedicated to comedy, now it's dictated to worlds like Gen Zers. Who want to go like watch transgender men finger each other or whatever? So. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. I think they had like a show where they got like a bunch like twelve people who were like completely different sexualities or something. Where they had like a girl go in there and be like, "I'm actually sixty percent non-binary," and shit like that. <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> your type of show, Emil. Oh yeah, I really love those sorts of shows. Hmm. Just for the record, right, I do want to point this out. I don't have anything against transgender people and all the rest of it. However, until you've had the operation, you are what you are. I'm sorry. There's no such thing as non-binary. It doesn't exist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anyone in this Discord server that might have been offended by that as well. But it doesn't exist. You can't not be a gender. <laughs> yeah, Unless I you can. Unless you do a Marilyn Manson and cut literally everything off. What if you add everything? <laughs> then you become a she-male. Wouldn't you be a... Yeah, I was going to say that, yeah. <laughs> Piers Morgan. Fuck off. I'm not Piers Morgan. I think that's Clarkson's view on... I mean, it would surprise me if that's Clarkson's view on everything. Look, I'm just... Um, there are two genders, yes. I'm afraid so. It's, it's just the way the world works. I'm sorry. If you want to answer sub because of that, then. Gender is do. outdated. Clothes fit should be the new norm. 
But yeah, no, I mean, as long as you're actually doing something about it, that's cool. But, like, people who are like, oh, hey, I'm this, even though I'm not actually going to make any attempt to become this. I'm just going to say I am and get angry if you don't use the correct pronouns, then, you know, fuck off. Actually, do you know what? They're the ones that irritate me. What? Not the actual people who are going through whatever, because that's all cool and all, but, like... The people like, oh, well, you must call me this exact thing. It's like, well, no. And, like, when people get first met and, like, they say the wrong thing and then they get offended. There's something like that oh. at work recently. Oh. Where, like, this woman, like, she offered to... What was it? There's, like, this girl trying on, like, men's blouses and stuff, and all she said was, like, oh, you know, there's there's women's blouses as well if those don't fit. And then, like, everyone in her family got really mad at her. Because it's, like, how the fuck is she supposed to know that she's supposed to be transitioning or some shit? When she's got, like, giant long hair and still looks like a girl. I'm sorry. It's the way the world works. Yeah. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. I can I, I assume my gender. Yeah, I am. I'm not thankful for many things in this world, but <laughs> um, I can imagine the modern schooling system is a, a terrible, awful place to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I'm going trans, and I know I'm biologically male, regardless of what those non-binary cooks say. See, there you go. That's my sort of person. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I was in school not that long ago, and I I knew a couple of transgender people, and you know how I knew? Mm -hmm. wow. Not because they went up and told me. I just kind of found out eventually. Generally, if like someone straight up goes to you and is like, "Hi, I'm transgender," like that's the first thing they say. It's like, oh. yeah, it's like, "Hi, I'm vegan." It's, it's, it's that yeah. Sort of thing. Not a, they can't, that shouldn't be your main personality trait. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like know. gays. Like, isn't it? It's like the same issue that a lot of like oh yeah, fucking gay people. people God damn it, they're awful. Like, Hi, I'm like. It's like, hello, hi, I'm gay. You can you not tell by the fact I'm putting on this voice? Yeah, by the way, i just yeah. like to state that was a joke that I said. I don't actually think that. Hi, yeah, Azza. Yeah. Don't have an issue with gay people. I mean, Azza's here. <laughs> but I'm the token. Hi, yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> <so. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's not having a good... He's not having a he's good time. He's not like. having a good time. He's just not having a good... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh, Lars Sullivan um, has a mental breakdown the day he's supposed to appear on Raw, doesn't appear on TV for like two years, and then people now find out he's a porn star or something in the past life and are making fun of him for it. Uh -huh. Well, after he's been fucking found out about the fucking thing. Oh yeah, also though, the racist comments and... The racist, sexist, homophobic comments. Yeah, those ones. The whole trifecta. Yeah. <laughs> Homophobic is the one we're fucking <laughs> ragging him on for. Yeah, because of course it is. Because it's Mem fucking. Remember, it's okay porn. to be racist in the modern era, but if you're homophobic, cool. Well, if you're homophobic, you can't do gay porn. That's just not legal. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that fucking uh, porn star guy on Twitter? What happened? It was like a guy who, like. He's like a male porn star, and he got called out for doing like gay stuff for some reason. And so he went on Twitter and he's just like, you know, a lot of people have been uh, asking me, you know, why do I do gay porn? Well, uh, here's the truth, because I enjoyed it. It was really good. I'd do it again. <laughs> 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 I ain't right. gay, but it was fun, <laughs> <laughs> and I got paid money. <laughs> and so I thought. <laughs> They were like all like calling him like loads of shit, and he was like, "I don't care, I'll own it." <laughs> I ain't gave it twenty bucks. It's twenty bucks. <laughs> uh, you need to give me a little bit more than twenty bucks, but yeah. Well, you said ninety nine pound ninety nine. Yep. That was a joke. No, no it wasn't. No. That was a joke, you moron. Shut up. <laughs> ninety nine pounds doesn't mean I'll play around a soggy biscuit with you. You should actually watch the like the actual fucking interview because it's actually pretty hilarious. Oh yeah, any interview with Corey Taylor and it's usually really good. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a bad interview with him. Yeah, I like the one that you posted where he was complaining about CD cases. 
He's like, it, it, what, what is it? it was in like 2009 or something, and he's like, it's the year 2000 fucking nine. Can we not figure this shit out? God damn it. That was yeah. <laughs> it's true, too. I got a CD, a couple CDs from my library, and um, one of them's like a Radiohead CD, and the fucking bottom little like jewel case thing snapped off when I opened it. I'm like, God yeah. damn it. <laughs> Why? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate that. 2009, can we not figure this shit out, people? Yeah. You can bypass a nearby way station. Well, I hope so, because I'm out there carrying a fucking trailer. Oh, I hate those way stations. I hate the ones where you have to like stop twice in a row. Because usually when you stop at one, it means you don't have to stop at like another one for ages. Yeah. I used to think it was like if you was in the same state, then it wouldn't do it. But that's not true. So. There must be a cure for vegan people. <laughs> Bacon sandwich with HP brown sauce is the cure. <laughs> Brown sauce is shit. I don't really like bacon. I don't really like HP sauce, so. Oh, I like both. Then again, I'm not a vegan, so, yeah. Change ginger jokes will be like my N-word pass, but not as powerful as that holy pass. <laughs> I have Jeraser, yeah. he gives me the pass. Oh, yeah. We have Q. We also have, yeah, we have Q as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who literally doesn't care. I don't use it. Shit. You know, for me, I've always said this. It's like, words are just fucking words. Who gives a fuck? Uh, as long as you don't put any meaning behind the words, you're fine. That's my general rule of thumb on it. Like, if you're saying the word faggot, just say the word faggot. Fair enough. If you're saying faggot, just be like... Just to, like, be insulting to gay people when it's fucking different. Yeah. Same goes for the N-word, etc. <laughs> a word is just a fucking word. Yep, people apply meaning to it, and that's what gives them that thing. Gay people who are like in your face about it and talk about all the ones as the ones I dislike. People are like, "Hey, I'm gay, and don't mention it much more." Are the better people? Yeah. I yeah, no, like I know a few gay people, and like you don't find out about it until like like weeks after. Like, that's when they start hitting on you. Big No, no, I haven't actually had to deal. I don't think I've ever dealt with any gay male in my life, in all honesty. No one comes on to me anyway. Male or female, so I'm fine in that regard. <laughs> um, ow. Don't Poor say boost. ow. Feels bad, man, in the chat, guys. Fuck off. Poor Boost. <laughs> it, oh. Boost has just soiled his last chance. I did that at 17. I, no, sorry, not 17. What was that? For you, I was like 16. Hey, I, actually, I was 12 God. when I turned someone down. I feel like that's just haunting me for the rest of my life. Oh. Was that where you were watching the fucking television? No, that was when I was like 19. <laughs> 12, Jesus Christ, I hope not. Actually, no, how old am I now? Oh, this again. Why can you not remember your age? I don't know, I've genuinely felt I was a year older, like, the last few times I was supposed to be. Check a calendar. I think I'm 22. So, yeah, I think check 18. Yeah. 9th of January, 97, so... Check your N-word pass. Oh, yeah, that's Check a good point. Because I'm bad for your health. <laughs> I come no stop dropping bombs on your mums. Fuck car bombs. Doing the bad 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 bad. Something with your yeah, Alpine. Sector, sector. Yeah. I always preferred the uh, the non-censored version. Yeah. This ain't no fucking motion picture. Guy, get with you. I'll get with you. Because shotgun bullets are bad for you. That always irritates Am I the only one that got irritated by that bit specifically? Yeah. Shotgun bullets. Oh, shotgun bullets, oh, yeah. Liberties. God damn it, Ice Cube. You should have been shot at by uh, enough by now to know they're not bullets. Isn't it weird how, like, out of everyone in the NWA, Ice Cube's probably, like, the most well known? Uh, yeah, I know. Weird. Well, he writes a lot of the good stuff. Also acting. Yeah. Well, because there was that one line in one song where I or Easy E literally said, "Ice Cube writes rhymes that I sing." So you know. Hmm. Yeah, and then I they mean, all yeah. hated him, so he did no Vaseline. <laughs> yeah, and they all got fucked. Yeah. <laughs> With no Vaseline. A song <laughs> so good it took the piss out of someone for driving a Datsun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not even a. That wasn't even a point. My diet. That's more ironically. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, no Vaseline was great. Good Slightly tune. questionable. Oh, it's fantastic. Back when rap music was good. Yeah. I was racing the I Sprite in Forza Motorsport 4. I, oh, I oh yeah, Mobamba's the best song it. in the world, though. Yeah, exactly. Actually, no, bro, rap music must be pretty good now. Kanye West just released this new song called Power. It must be new, because Ford's using oh it my for the new Shut Mustang Mackey. <laughs> Shut up. I don't even... I actually kind of like the way the Mackey looks. Yeah. The more the I ass end looks weird. Yeah, I know, but like in the advert, they show it like driving, and it just looks like a normal car. Yeah. Yeah, the front's all right. It's fine. Yeah, I do have a concern. It's got to get its ass kicked by the Polestar Two if there's any justice in this <laughs> world. But yeah, well, everything's gonna have its ass kicked by the Polestar Two if there's any justice. <laughs> Tesla. Yeah. Yeah. I do have concerns about the front the front not grill though, because a lot of electric cars do that because they're like, hey bro, it's electric, you don't need cooling, and it's like, yeah, but batteries get hot too. <laughs> yeah, and you know what I love about that when they do that? What? Every car has really big grills now, so the fucking like giant like panel has to be massive as well. Yeah. Like at least Tesla just don't give it I mean it, it looks weird, but at least they don't give it a grill. Mm -hmm. I was racing the Sprite in FM4, I hit a rumble strip and flipped it. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, rumble strips do that in Forza 4. Grip rolling, which is not something you have to worry about when you're driving an Alfa Romeo Montreal. The Montreal, y'all. The Montreal. I can't really Stop yodel. Stop yodeling. Scotian yodel. No. <laughs> no, screw that. <laughs> to be fair, that book sounds sort of interesting. Although it's probably like all bollocks. <laughs> delay, 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 hee hoo. One lone cone in the middle of the road. <laughs> that sounds like the start to a fucking Stephen King. No, it sounds like <laughs> the start to one of those awful Netflix films like fucking Tire Tread or whatever it was called. The one about that tire that would just like kill things. Oh yeah, it. that one. That was it. <laughs> I'm going to make the sprite I mean, red and just call it a sprite cranberry. Oh fuck off. Want a sprite cranberry? What is a what is this meme? Because I still don't know. It's like two years old. Oh, now. oh, there was a commercial uh, a couple while ago um, with LeBron James. I believe it was LeBron James in a sprite commercial, and it's like uh, this. It's in like claymation. And um, he, he says, want a Sprite Cranberry? And this, there's like a song bit in the intro of it. And he's, they're like, they sing, it's the most thirstiest time of the year. It's just weird. Thirstiest time. Yeah. Oh dear. I could post a picture from it in response, if I can find it. No, screw that. SpriteCranberry.net. No, screw that. <laughs> Did you uh, see the thing? Hmm? Where, like, he bought his son out on stage to sing with him, and his son kind of looks like him, just a lot skinnier. <laughs> it's like he said in the fucking Larry King interview, he's just like, having two bands now is alright, I'll just send my son with Stone Sour and I'll just do Slipknot. <laughs> so Stone Sour can have, like, a 14 year old kid sing for them. He's actually not too bad in fairness. He's not as good as Corey Taylor, but then again, he hasn't got the neck the size of Utah, so... Because I'm fairly certain that's where all that voice comes from, is just like the giant-ass neck. You can tell a lot about someone by the size of the neck. Does, yeah. he, does he have the grunt that Corey Taylor has? A little bit. He's like 14, so his bollocks haven't properly dropped yet, so... <laughs> I don't know, he has the same silly hairstyle. Or well, did in that video. I can't remember his name. 
Got a pretty good name for a kid, though. Billy. No, I think Kevin. it begins with a C. I can't remember what it is. Kevin, mate. Cunt. Cunty. Cunty? <laughs> What's the Cunty name of your Taylor. kid? Cunt. C, Jeremy. Cunt. Cunty Taylor. <laughs> Cunty Taylor? <laughs> And finally for today, Hockenheim National Circuit. Oh. Wait, Corey Taylor's Spongebob? That was a thing. Yeah. Oh, he sung the Spongebob theme, right. Uh, uh, that occasionally when? does happen. <laughs> oh, wait, I think, he, I think I remember that now. Griffin. That was the name of his song. That doesn't begin with a C. Doesn't it? Criffin. Alright. Oh. He kind of looks like him, actually. He sung the worst Stone Sour song, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> he sung Song 3, which I don't like because it sounds a bit too poppy and bollocks. Or rather, it isn't that bad, but it is, like, pretty pop-punk, which I don't like, so... I yeah. prefer my music to be a bit more edgy. I like my music to talk about the real shit, like keeping girls in boxes. Okay. <laughs> you sound like a mentally stable person. Always. I feel like Braun would like unfinished. Unfinished! We're unfinished. That is a fucking good song, actually. I'll give you that one. Yeah. I, I'm coming around more to the audio secrecy stuff. Even if, like, 50% of that album's kind of acoustic. But then again, I mean, they were pretty sensical on that, considering, like, the most popular song from, like, the last album was, like, Through Glass, so they were like, hey, let's do more of that. <laughs> Which makes sense. In fairness, Audio Secrecy also had Mission Statement, so... That made up for everything, because Mission Statement's great. Yes. I like some of the softer stuff, I just think there's an overabundance of it. It's all like Alter Bridge. I, I like Alter Bridge's like, first album, however, there is way too much acoustic stuff on it. So it kind of loses all impact and just turns into like, soppy garbage. But hey, at least the first album had Matt Lingus. <laughs> on this day! I see clearly. I also had to find the real and... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I listened to that by accident the other day. It was pretty good. <laughs> one day, one day remains. I can't remember one day remains. I, I did listen to Find the Real by accident like yesterday, and I thought it was quite good. Mm. I did that thing where I forgot Spotify was on and put my headphones in it and just randomly selected a song. It's it's like a new game I play with Spotify. See how long, I I see how long. Like, I can listen to a... Like, you know when, like, a Spotify album ends and it just starts playing random shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I see how long I can listen to it before I have to skip the song because it's something bad. <laughs> Usually it lasts about, like, three songs, but yesterday it didn't do too bad. I had to tolerate before I forget. You shouldn't. Well, yeah, I know, before I forget, it's actually supposed to be good and all that, but it's not, it's not a proper Slipknot song. It's not, it's not bad. It's, it's not a proper Slipknot song. Maybe that's why I liked it. I only remember it, because it was the first song in Guitar Hero, I got over 100,000 points. Hell yeah. No, like, before I forget, works as like a gateway, it's like Psychosocial. That works as a, actually, Psychosocial is just a good song, though. Psychosocial! <laughs> Okay, I'll have to listen to some more of that later. Hey, Vol, if you don't heard Psychosocial before, it's like the meme song. <laughs> I don't think so, no. And the rain will kill us all. Duality was also, like, the thing from that as well. I think Duality is supposed to be the most famous single, I think. Uh, I'm going to be old soon and say the best song from Volume 3 was probably The Nameless. 
But that's because they do like that, that weird, like, it's like two people screaming at each other thing, even though it's the same person. It's got quite a good guitar riff to it as well. Problem with Volume 3 is it just sounds overproduced, which I don't like. Also, the scream he had at that time is a bit irritating. It was the same one that was on Come Whatever May, though. That was the one where he did it for like two years and then they told him, You need to stop doing that because otherwise you're going to make your throat explode. You don't get to do that. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think for the first two Slipknot albums he had like a scream, he got told, Don't do that. So he was like, Okay, yeah, I'll, do, I'll just do this different one then. And then they were like, No, don't do that either. That's even worse. What are you doing? And so he just turned it into like a growl and they let him do that now. So. Well, I like the first two albums, it was quite bad. Apparently, he wasn't allowed to speak outside of being on stage. <laughs> then again, that's not a coin to that life. fucking amazing clip with, like, him and Sid. Did you see that one, Scotia? <laughs> the one where what, what? they're, like, arguing backstage. Probably, I don't know. It's like, you gotta do something about those fucking cameras. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you too! I'm so fucking pissed at you, you little shit! And then they just start spitting at each other. When did boxed bitches become a thing? Since 1999. How do you scream so loud and violently that you blow up your voice? Have you heard the first few Slipknot albums? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I've heard like right. one song from them, maybe. Okay, yeah, that that'll be why. <laughs> I'll go listen. Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> disaster piece, and just sort of listen to that, and that should explain everything. All right. Actually, disaster piece or everything. I like everything ends. This is a great. This is a happy song. Everything ends. <laughs> mm, you say happy. Your version of happy is very different from normal people's version of happy. What? They did like happy songs on the first album. Yeah, okay. Um, there was that song called Eeyore. That was a good song. Mm -hmm. Um, that was about a guy who was in a mosh pit and was being an asshole, so a bunch of people just ganged up and beat the shit out of him. Okay. Oh, my favourite. Yeah. Please tell me you saw the fucking... Speaking of boxed bitches, there is an amazing YouTube clip I implore you all to see. It's like seven minutes long, and it's great. Just look at Corey Taylor discusses... Purity, that's it. Where, like, they got, like... <laughs> Basically, he had to go to court because someone was trying to say he stole my idea of talking about a girl who was locked in a box. And they had to go on phone call to a judge who apparently was laughing at the fact that this was not an original idea. <laughs> it's a great clip. Fuck you! So fucking pissed at you. I'm trying to think what else is on the first song. Um. Oh, they had spit it out. Spit it out's kind of positive. It's about spitting. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like that Spitting. Pantera song that had it happened like a few years before. What do you say? Spit! Are you talking to me? I need to listen to some more Pantera. It, even though like the only song anyone remembers from Pantera is called Cowboys From Hell. So. Or the song that was in Guitar Hero. Oh, my tailbone's going really numb. <sighs> Do you ever get that? Yeah. But like your tailbone just gives up. Yeah, I think you might be sitting wrong. I'm sitting correctly with my posture. Hmm. What do you say? Are you talking to me? Uh. No way, punk. 
There's a guy on YouTube I watch who's, who plays Gran Turismo, but he said he had to buy a new PS2. I, it seems like a, quite a few people said, like, oh, the PS2 Slim that I had, oh, it died, or like, oh, it was really loud. What the fuck is wrong with everyone's Slims? Because mine's like, oh, the Slim was fine. awful. The slim I had no, slim no. Awful. Oh, come on. No bullshit. My Slim didn't play Gran Turismo. perfectly before. fine. I had to put I had to put it upside down for it to recognize this. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Slim's a piece of shit. And there's still oh, a lot okay. of piece of shit. Like I think some Slims were good, but like a lot of them were awful. Good. Yeah, and like the last the last last variant you can't fucking mod at all. Oh, I had a yeah, the one with the awful. yeah, the one with the like or the the top third of the uh, case is like that slick uh, piano black plastic. You can't mod those at all. That sucks. No. Like the nine XXXX. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Be like back. I'm gonna get some fucking WD. Get WD. Okay, WD forty. All right. WD fort. I love drinking WD forty. It's great. <laughs> I really love downing WD forty. Yeah. Cocktails yeah, those... of WD forty. My favorite cocktail is a uh, Mopar engine conditioner. <laughs> oh God. Engine conditioner. I really like antifreeze. Uh, I combine it with ice. <laughs> and vodka. Yeah. That could be tasty. Early LMP1 level 48 driver award. We're going to reach level 50 by the end of the championship series, by the looks of Hooray. It's just pretty crazy when you think it took like 140 odd episodes to get to level 50 in Falls of Free. Hockenheim, it's now in the daytime. Wow, good rhyme. It's the final plight of the Alfa Romeo Montreal. Then after that, I need you two to watch a video quickly. Mm. I need right. to see you through the traffic cocks. So we have something to meme about for the next bit. <laughs> Let's see. I'm using my PS2 Slim now, and I'm well, not sure, sure whether World War Three is going on outside my house or my PS2 Slim is <laughs> making the noise. Why are so many people's PS2 so loud? My PS2 Slim is, like, dead silent 99% of the time. It's probably why, why didn't they work. Have... No, yeah, <laughs> have you yeah, tried okay. turning it on? <laughs> what? Oh, gee, good idea, Emil. Do you know what my favorite thing about the PS2 Slim was? That you can make fun of it? The fact that it used to sound like plastic snapping. What what is wrong with you? What? I say that now. The, mm, my PS2 okay. Slim's still alive. Last time I knew, because well, I gave it to it frequently? someone. Oh, <laughs> okay. Because he was like, "I need a PS2," and I was like, "Oh yeah, I replaced my old one with like this new one, so you can have the old one." I don't know if it still works or not, but you're more than welcome to give it a go. Apparently, he's had, got like branches metal working on it and shit. So, yeah. Well, because, like, mine's, well, I, to my knowledge, the very early PS2 Slims from, like, I think 2004 and early 2005 are a bit shit. Like, the fan runs too loud and it's I too had. hot. Yeah, well, that would explain it. Because mine was I mainly, got mine at Christmas, like, 06, so. Oh, well, I did as well. I got mine, like, Christmas either 05 or 06, and mine's been completely fine the whole time. I think one time I had to clean the laser lens with a Q-tip, and that's it. Hmm. Paid 20 quid from cash converters. I paid 36 Ooh. pounds from CEX for mine. Nice. You know, it was a fully refurbed, according to them. I mean, in fairness, it done, it, th that one's done well because it did do half of Gran Turismo 3 and all of Gran Turismo 4, so. And it hasn't wow. exploded, so. That's good. And it'll probably do the entire it juiced and shit when we get to that. I really wish I'd kept like the first few episodes that I juiced LP and like turned it into a thing. Because people could have finally figured out where Whamkers came from. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know where that came from. It's way less funny when you explain it. Oh. Oh god, it, sticky thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. Yeah. What you really should do is you avoid the German flag on that one and cut straight across the grass because there's no stickiness on the actual grass itself, but. I kind of want to take mm. the corner properly, but still at some speed. Or take the thunder line. I don't want to take the thunder line. What's the thunder line? Uh, the thunder line's doing what he did in like Euro V8 supercars, where he literally just... You know how the first corner has like run off on the left side? Oh, yeah. 
He just went around the corner like full throttle and used all of the left side. He basically did oh, a nice. Jimmy from ETCC season two, but I didn't get figured for it. Nice. That's really cool. <laughs> really cool. I mean, cool. hey, it's yeah, it's free real estate. I guess. Mule yeah. is planning a new racing series soon. I've got to test the cars for that too. Yeah, I got a fucking. Okay. Oh, did you get it as well? Yeah. I gotta remind myself to get off my fucking nerves and test them out. I'm <laughs> gotta too remind myself to, this to game. stop. Yeah, I gotta remind myself to stop trucking. <laughs> I, I've yeah. officially got rid of one of the games. Because I've had to play Modern Warfare all weekend because they had double weapon XP. And fuck grinding that game normally, so. Although they got rid of the best map in the game, which is bullshit. They got rid of the shipment playlist and just gave us Shoot House. And I don't really like Shoot House, but Shoot House is like the smallest map that has a playlist for it, so. That's the one we played! Azza, have you returned with your WD 40? Yes! Oh. Oh, is that actually what you were getting? Yes! Oh, He's fixing okay. his chair, I think. Yeah! Oh. Really irritating. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, that was a much better line. That was yeah, that's something. the way I should have taken it first time around. What was that? I have a chainsaw dangling from the ceiling in my truck. <laughs> Who died? Hmm. Uh, my Goman might have still been here. Maybe. Goman's great. He comes in, says one thing, and leaves. It's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, oh, hi! There he is. You hey. still here? <laughs> Hello. I shouldn't do that actually because I don't know how close this microphone is. Yes, who I know has, you're tired. Who has bequeathed me? What? Someone joined. Not me. I know it's not you, you fucking dollop. I love what you did I love you too. Fuels my life. I don't like I love when Az's mic barely cut, like, just cuts out at the very end of the statement so I can't That's understand what he says. Get close to your mic, mic, you fucking mic, idiot. Remember. Oh. Oh, okay. I gave him a microphone, I gave him a car, and that cheeky cunt still wants to have his name at the front of the intro. Wow. What a piece of shit he is. You would have to pay like five dollars for like the rest I am of us. An asshole. Yeah, he'd have to increase his pledge up three pounds. Yeah, but he'll give you like ninety nine pounds to get you know to get become sucky, a sucky. patron or whatever. It, what's the <laughs> right? I know the first one supporter, patron. The last one CEO. I don't know what the one in between's called. Oh, let me check. Still fucking squeaks. Oh, stickers, no. Why would I... No, fuck Give off. Give me a sticker. No. <laughs> this is gonna be loud, maybe. Oh, supporter, uh, patron, founder, CEO. Founder, that's it. Yeah. Can you tell I didn't know what to do when I was calling those things what I called them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder also, if patron, just to here. point out, is not a reference to Patreon. You're allowed to patronize things. Patreon did not make up that word. Well, they made well, up they the word Patreon, it. but they didn't make up the word patron. Nah, they invented it. You gotta pay them royalties. I like the channel memberships, though. Because it means I don't have to write a fucking essay on Patreon about why you should support me. You can just click the button if you want to, and if you don't want to, then that's fine. <laughs> Donate or get the fuck out. <laughs> Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. <laughs> Do you actually watch the streams? Nope. No, I watch okay. Lean cut them into videos, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that one guy in the um, That's how me and Chicane bonded, pretty much, is over Wings of Redemption. Oh, that's it's great. So. Yeah, hey, I like we that. both love a bit of Geordie. 
what was that thing called? The what, what's the guy you say I sound like again? Frederick Newson? Yeah. The down the rabbit hole. There was on the uh, down the rabbit hole episode of the user redemption thing. There was that one guy who like called him on Discord, and it mm. sounded like AK. He was like telling him like. Oh, that's Sean Franklin. Why Rankin. are you? Oh, that is that what he sounds like? That's actually okay. Sean Franklin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he's like, why do you people keep making fun of me? And he's like, because it's funny. It's funny to make fun of you because you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Keep reacting. Then, Stop reacting. Yeah, yeah, that was great. He's like, what am I supposed to do, man? What am I supposed to do when these people just come at me and they're saying this bullshit? And he just says, you ignore them. You just ignore them. That's actually like pretty good Scottish. I'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. I could do an AKM. Do you not think you sound a bit to... like Frederick Newton? I don't know. I, I haven't watched a, a episode Video of, with um, you and you. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched it in a while. Like, a few months. The last one I watched was Wings of Redemption. He yeah, only done, like, two since then, I think. Yeah, well, he's done one on, uh, like, Rat Utopia or something. Oh, yeah, um, that was an old one. Yeah, Furries. I know that one. Oh, the Furries one I couldn't get through because it, it actually goes into the history. I just wanted furry bashing, but I don't know why I went to no. him for no, he, no, you're not going to get that there. Um, and then there's the Wings of Redemption one. Dark Side Phil I haven't watched yet. Uh, Dark Side Phil is a fantastic human. I think the <laughs> best two are the Temple OS and the Rajneesh ones. Temple OS. Yeah, I've heard of that. I need to watch more of those. They're really entertaining. Temple OS and Rajneesh Like, I didn't know what either of those were going into the video, and they were great. Yeah. Has he done one on Greg? On who? Greg. Yeah. No, Jesus, not yet. If you, uh, making videos on Onision is a bad move. Oh, yeah. God. Because you get the no, Onision haters who are, like, in their millions. Like, there's a channel I watch, he went up 12,000 subs because he did two videos on Greg. <laughs> what the fuck, Greg? What the fuck, Greg, indeed. Hey... God, there's line. a massive uh, oil thing there. Why do they have that? The what? The giant, like, Mobile One container on the top of the building there in the infield. I don't know. So, you know, it's sponsored by Mobile One. Anyways, early LMP. Have we got anything we need to pick here? Yes, we do. Um, we have a choice. The 1999 Toyota number 3 Toyota Motorsports GT1 TSO20. The 1999 BMW number 15 BMW V12 LMR. The 2006 Audi number 2 Audi Sport North America R8. The 2003 Bentley number 17 Bentley Speed 8. And the 2003 Panos number 11 JML Team Panos LMP01. Unfortunately, we have to pick the Audi. No choice in the matter, I'm afraid. What Audi is it? Uh, the R8, not that one. Oh. 2006. Yeah, not that R8. The actual R8. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching this. I'm going to be finishing off the Class E World Championship. Join us for that. Until then, farewell. Let it go.